Okay, welcome back to the Freezing Bear office where we dissect bad ads. Today, there's a special update in the Spence Diamond universe that I'm just super excited to share with you guys. We're talking massive update, bigger than Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4. It's pretty big. Callum. Yes, Michael. It's time to step up our game. Step up our game? We have to do more, more, more for Spence customers. I think Michael has things confused. Sometimes less is more. I think what would be better for Spence customers and everyone is if they made less ads. I think that would do the whole world, the universe, a huge benefit. Anything you put your mind to would become possible. Biden would learn how to ride a bike. World hunger would go away. Everybody would get an Amazon Prime subscription. It'd just be good times all around. But Michael, more engagement ring customers are buying from Spence than ever before. And we're selling more big anniversary diamonds than ever before. And customers are delighted with our selection of Earth diamonds. And they are ecstatic over our selection of created diamonds. And they are overjoyed with our prices. Did you hear that, Michael? Did you hear that, Michael? Michael's like, okay, goddammit, I get the point. I'm sorry I brought this up. It was just a thought. I guess you guys are just completely in tune to everything going on in Spence Diamonds. You guys just know everything about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll shut up, okay? But Michael, our stock price is already up 20%. We've already surpassed our one year target estimate. Have you been paying attention to anything this company's been doing? <laughs> I can't believe Sean told you to do this. Michael, I have to say that I too am surprised at Mr. Jones. Yeah, Michael, we're not mad. We're just severely disappointed that you'd question your two best employees' performance. We set up illegal work camps in Ecuador to mine diamonds for this company. We smuggled diamonds across the border in our teeth, Michael, for this company. That's how committed we are. And yet, after all that, you still question whether the two best employees working here are committed enough. So they're rightly pissed off at, you know, Mr. Jones and Michael for just completely undermining their loyalty, you know? Michael and Sarah have been through everything. They've had to change their identity six times. They had to keep their secrets hidden deep within them. When they're watching Blood Diamond with the family, they have to just kind of laugh it off. Then we find out the twist. The reason why Michael is so anxious right now is because he's bought the company and has absolutely no idea how to run a company and is just freaking out. <sighs> Mr. Jones didn't tell me to do this. I bought the company and frankly, I'm a little scared. I've never owned a company before. So apparently Mr. Jones sold the company to Michael who's never owned a business before, doesn't know anything about running businesses businesses. So Mr. Jones had probably realized that his business had peaked and he was just like, yeah, it's just cash in while I can, you know, before millennials kill diamonds once and for all. Here, Michael, just give me $11 billion and you can have it. So there's a few things that we can take away from this that are for certain. One being that Michael definitely got screwed over during this transaction. So Michael's probably dealing with insane interest payments. He'll likely have to become a streamer that promotes gambling to kids to be able to afford to pay them. And lastly, that there's no end to any Spence Diamond ads in sight. You know, they're just gonna keep on pumping them out daily. So unfortunately, people who are waiting for that free Amazon Prime account, you're gonna have to wait a little longer. And of course, you know, world hunger is still gonna be a prevalent issue affecting millions of people each day. Don't worry, Michael, we won't let you down. We have all kinds of exciting new things on the drawing board. Don't worry, Michael, we won't let you down. <laughs> That's like when a politician says they have full support of one of their party members, and then the next day that member resigns. They're trying to seem helpful on the outside, but you can tell deep down they're starting to worry about their job security. They're starting to think about taking their expertise and moving it to another diamond chain, or maybe even moving back to South Africa to sell diamonds there. Don't worry, Michael, we won't let you down. At certain times, her voice sounds like it's one of those AI generated voices because certain like syllables are hung on to for longer. And it sounds like it's kind of one of those like pretty decent AI voices where it's like, oh yeah, that, that's pretty good. AI voices are getting pretty good, you know? You can kind of see it in an advertisement. They'd be like, yeah, AI voices have uh, come a long way. You know, you take the Spence Diamond woman, for example. She's been an AI voice this whole time. You didn't even realize. I don't know why I find that so funny, but just that line. Fantastic. In a funny way, there's always one line in a Spence Diamond ad that you can just listen to and it kind of gives you a little bit of enjoyment just hearing it, I don't know. Don't worry, Michael. We won't let you down. Michael, when we are happy and having fun, our customers are happy and having fun. Michael, we're gonna teach you how to have fun. Thank you, Callum. Thank you, Sarah. Michael, we're gonna show you how to have fun. Have you ever tried to cross the border with $50,000 in cash taped around your stomach? The adrenaline rush is amazing. And Sarah's like, yeah, the only time I've ever felt more of a rush was when I had to take out a diamond cartel leader. You know, I did it on a motorbike, Woo! The rush lasted for weeks, you know, I was just stunned, you know, sitting in the hotel room, laying low, just... 
Michael at this point is starting to question his life choices. He's like, what did I get myself into? I didn't realize this was a cartel, but that's not the only ad Spence Diamond has been pumping onto the airways recently. They're still trying to get you to buy their scuffed up earth diamonds. So they have an ad going like this. Mysterious with swirling clouds inside. Mysterious with swirling clouds inside. I'm engaged already. I can't wait to find out what is next. Come to Spence and see a diamond shaped like a kite. Come to Spence and see a diamond shaped like a shield. Come to Spence and see a diamond shaped like a hexagon. Come to Spence and see a diamond that you can't afford. It seems that Spence Diamond has kind of toned down their examples for their diamonds. They said they can be found in shapes like a hexagon, a kite, a shield, which is way better than what they were comparing them to in one of their previous ads. They compared one of their rings to a Picasso painting. The princess is a perfect square. Like a flower painted by Pablo Picasso. And to a round-lobed hepatica. The most beautiful of all the wildflowers. That has to be one of Spence Diamond's worst ads. All their examples were such a stretch. Kind of like me comparing my lens cap to an Olympic gold medal just because it's round, you know? It's round, just like an Olympic gold medal. Just because something has the same shape as another thing doesn't make them similar, which I'm pretty sure most people understand. Even get non-traditional diamonds in traditional shapes. Get traditional diamonds in non-traditional shapes. Get traditionally non-traditional diamonds in traditionally non-traditional shapes too. You will be so overwhelmed with choice at our store, you won't be able to leave. It's kind of hard for me to make a Spence Diamond ad because by the time I focused on one of their ads and made a video about it, like the next day they released a completely different ad. So it's always so hard to stay on top of their ads, but this is a big development that I thought I may as well cover, you know? So let's show Michael a little bit of support. Comment down below, good job, Michael. So that way Michael will feel a little bit more confident about his decision to become a cartel leader. It's definitely a position you can grow into. All you need to do is watch Better Call Saul and you get pretty much all the information you need. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe. And if you haven't, check out some of my other videos on Spence Diamond ads.